people that probably came in when things weren't going well for us and did some good things for us. Um, Amanda would be definitely the brightest spot, no doubt there, because she came in and really held down that outside hitter spot for the weekend when Elda and Tara both struggled a little bit. So, you know, that's a great bright spot, and I think it should be a, a pretty three-man pretty good three-man race between the three of them to play that outside hitter spot from week to week and it's a good sign that you know after being on the bench for a couple of weeks she was able to step up when we weren't playing very well and put up some pretty good numbers for us so yeah that that's a definite bright spot for sure I think the other one that might you might not even recognize is that like Chelsea Mayer got in for the first time our freshman and um, she came in late in some games to put an aggressive serve up and come in and play some defense for us and that you know is valuable too although we didn't win the matches she was put in when matches were close and was able to not make errors and help us defensively. So, you know, I think that's a bright spot as well. Um, and then again, it might go unnoticed because there's not very many stats there and it wasn't a lot of playing time, but it's something that the coaching staff will keep in the back of their mind. This kid could go in and serve for someone. She has a very good aggressive jump float serve and she can play some defense. So, you know, I think that was a bright spot for us. And then, you know, in all honesty, Kendall played pretty well when we put her in the libero jersey. Um, she faltered a little bit in the last match probably gave into frustration a little bit because the weekend really wasn't going very well and a freshman will do that you know and we tried to talk to her about that that there'll be days like that that uh, you know we're asking you to step up and you'll step up and play really well for two or three games or two or three matches and then you'll just have a bad match and that happens so but um, it was refreshing to know that if we need to we can make that switch in the libero jersey as well what's the difference in the skill set between a Kendall and an Alicia Schaefer I think it's just experience, in all honesty. I think that Kendall probably passes the ball a little bit better and receive, but Alicia will come up with more digs. And so we have to, on a daily basis, kind of evaluate what's the most important on that night. You know, is it that we can get our offense clicking because we need to pass the ball better, or is it that we need to come up with more digs? So, um, and the digging thing, I think, would be experience. You know, Alicia's played a couple of years of college volleyball, and Kendall's still working into that, trying to learn to read hitters a little bit better and play a little bit faster. And then, just what does it mean for this team to come back home where, where I guess the comfort level is much higher? I assume it is, you know, and I'm tired of talking about the road stuff, the course, the same dimension, you know, and all that stuff. So, uh, but I do think it will be good for us to come back home, get our feet back under us, feel confident on our home court, going into four matches on the road to begin Southland Conference play a week from now.